What's going on guys, got a quick video for you. So a few days ago, I talked about the Nintendo Switch emulator Skyline development being shut down due to threats from Nintendo that wasn't even directly aimed at them. But they didn't want any problems with Nintendo even though they were really not doing anything wrong. Then I talked about the GameCube emulator Dolphin not coming to Steam because Nintendo sent them a DMCA. Now, with all of this going on, you would think Nintendo emulation development would come to a halt for a while until things calmed down. Well, the Yuzu team was like, forget you Nintendo, and surprise everyone, our emulator is now on Android. So yeah, that's basically what happened. So the Yuzu emulator is now on Android and free to download. Now of course, it's not running all the Nintendo exclusives at 1080p 60 frames, but it's doing pretty good to be a new released emulator on Android. Until this emulator gets some more work done on it and things get optimized, you're going to need the best of the best Android phone. And even then, you can expect your phone to get pretty hot while using the emulator. Even on their site, they stated the Samsung Galaxy S23 will climb to 90 degrees in seconds. So, um, I'm not going to be using this emulator right now. Not only will overheating be an issue, you will also have to have at least 8GB of RAM with 12GB required for the most intense Switch games. Also you'll need a Snapdragon 865 device or newer, and even then, remember, things will not work perfect. Now I am excited about Yuzu coming to Android and not having to go to a website to download it, but it's free right in the App Store, you can download it today. So let's see if Nintendo knocks at Google's door for allowing this emulator to be on their store. But honestly, I doubt it because they could have been went after Yuzu since they have been around for quite a while. And like I always say, emulators are legal, it's the ROMs that are not. So even though I don't recommend using this emulator for long periods of time, at this point anyways because of the overheating factor, I will still make a setup video on it and it will be available on my second channel, UCG Tutorials, link in the description. That's all for this video, thank you guys for watching and if you have already tried out this emulator, let me know what you think about it in the comments.